talk about it. I'm in uh, Reading, Pennsylvania, right? So, uh, it is so hot. It don't even make sense. For up here, I mean, I know it get hot up here, but damn, sweating balls. So I pull up, uh, I do everything wrong at this place. I done been here before, but I forgot, bro. I've been going to so many places, but I swear, I think last time I came, I uh, passed it up. Like it's kind of like in an industrial area and I went somewhere else and turned around and came back. And then I think the guard lady told me what to do. So it wasn't really no big issue. But this time I completely forgot and it was packed. So I'm sitting there. So I go over, ask the motherfucker, you know what I'm supposed to do. Cause I don't forgot. He's like, oh, whoop the woo, whoop the woo. So I go do the whoop the woo, whoop the woo. And I don't bring the truck. <laughs> I walked, but anyway, Cause I, I swear I asked, hey, do we wait, do we wait first? I thought he was, I thought he said no. I, I could be wrong, cause it's hot as shit. So, but anyway, uh, see the sweat coming off the bird, yeah. But anyway, uh, so uh, I finally get all that shit done. Come back. It's a motherfucker. It's truck eight story. Yeah, you know I mean, so I'm like, damn, we got, you got some oil. Yeah, I got some oil. You got some. Uh, you got some. Uh, Shit, the nigga answer everything, but damn starter fluid and shit, yeah you know I mean? But you got some uh You got some uh uh some pliers, some wrenches, yeah you know I mean some jumper cables, some uh some hooks. <laughs> cause this shit ain't story. I mean I understand it's hot too. Like I think his windows was stuck up because it, it sounded like the batteries was dead. So we spend the next 20 minutes idling my truck up, up and down, trying to help him out get his truck to start. Now, I don't know on these newer Freightliners, like 2015 and up, 2017 and up, if you can directly jump off the battery, which maybe you can, maybe you can't. I do know it's on the poster, it's got a negative and a positive. I know, speaking of, I forgot to do so. I don't know. Man, it's hot as shit out there. So, old buddy was like, well, you know what I'm saying? Fuck it, let's just, you know, give it a minute. I'm like, give it a minute. It keep trying to start it up. But whatever. So, eventually, the, the hubby that gave him the jumper cables came over there. He like, hey, shit. Y'all been over here all this time and they started up? We're like, nah, bro. It's, you know what I'm saying? It's fucked up. What the fuck? He like, shit. It look like the, uh, the jumper cables on your truck supposed to be on your batteries and shit. I'm like, bro, nah. From what I remember hearing was that you do that shit, you can fry your ECM and shit, nigga, and your ass is in the shop. You ain't going there, you know what I mean? Like, it was getting juice, but every time it would get enough juice to where he had some electricity inside his truck and he went to go start it, it would spark. And I'm talking about spark and leave a, a, a smoke afterwards. So he get to tightening up the, uh, the battery cables or whatever. Then, bro, it's still sparking and smoking, you know what I mean? So, something with the wires or something, bro. I don't know, them batteries look so old. I mean, they in there good. They put like some paper or something behind them so they don't slide around. So they shouldn't have wiggled loose, but sometimes just, you know, with them trucks, as old as they get, you know what I mean? Like, sometimes you gotta rewire them and shit. It, all they do all day is bounce up and down. That's all we do. So, I hope old buddy make it. You know what I mean? I tried, I did my good deed today. I'm out there sweating like a slave, been there, 20, 30 minutes, an hour, you know what I'm saying, past when I could have backed up down there to the door and got unloaded and shit. I gotta get down the road, but I wish your buddy the best. Salute, man. I try to help you, bro. I, I hope you make it out, man. Be here a moment, man. Boss up. Truck thing. One.